Oh. <coughs> All right. So, I am very happy to make another video. I think I, I just like making videos so much that I, I just, I, I look for excuses to make videos. Uh, it could be. Uh, but this one, I'm, last night, I stayed up, I've, I've had like an hour of sleep, uh, because I stayed up until after four in the morning, uh, doing reaction videos, so I was going through YouTube, uh, I'm gonna try to make this short, let's see, I, uh, what's the shortest way to put this? Uh, through the other reaction videos that I've uploaded to YouTube already, the Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro video, doing those reactions, I, I, I realized, uh, this thing with uh, attributing trans to the left. I'm pointing to my left, so that might be your right. No, that's right. My left, yeah. And so, uh, or at least it's the left on the screen also. But, uh, uh, and I'm, when I heard that, I was like, what's, what's that about? And when I say attributing it to the left, I mean they're presenting it as though this is a, like some kind of leftist plot. Uh, Matt Walsh described it as a top down that this is like some some leader in the Democratic Party is is dictating that men should become women or something like that. Uh, he didn't exactly say Ben Shapiro also did not say he just he was the video that I watched was him him reacting to a Fox News clip where Fox News was showing a story of a trans boy in a very positive way and. Uh, uh, you might say almost a pro-trans way, and Ben Shapiro was freaking out, calling it uh, leftist propaganda. It's just leftist propaganda and that kind of thing. And I thought, why? Where? Where? How is it leftist propaganda? I mean, where? Where is what? It, what does it have to do with it? And uh, so last night, I went onto YouTube and just put into the search bar leftist uh, transgender. And I basically went through and reacted to like uh, four videos and uh, discovered after after all that was over, I went back and watched all four of those that I, I didn't have my microphone on uh, because the uh, I use the webcam for doing the reaction videos. I don't use my phone and I have a, a microphone, a separate microphone for doing the reactions. The webcam has its own microphone. So I'm watching the, the, the app that I use shows me like when my voice is being registered. And I kept noticing it. I'm like, it looks like my voice is just barely being registered. But I just, for whatever reason, just decided not to, to, to investigate. And uh, discovered afterwards that it was the, uh, the webcam microphone that I've been using the entire time. And it was just, I'm like, I'm not going to upload these because the sound is just terrible. So that's why I'm, that's one of the reasons why I'm making this one, uh, because I don't know if you needed to know all that, but I felt like uh, there were there were things that I talked about in those videos that I uh, kind of want to talk about now since I didn't upload those. A lot of what's in those videos was just me rehashing what was in the other two videos, the uh, the Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro. This, this focus on biology, or, or I shouldn't say the focus on biology, but the uh, insisting that biological sex and gender identity are the same. That, that if, you, if you are biologically male, that means by default you are a man. That there is no, because there's no distinction, there's no difference between sex and gender. This was basically the entire... The whole argument against trans is that there is no such thing as gender, basically, that it's just, it's just, it's another word for sex. And, uh, so, uh, so that was re the rehashed part. So, but this, the other part that I, that I felt the need to talk about in this one, uh, was from watching a... Uh, 
uh, a detransitioning video. This this uh, this boy, this person who was born male, transitioned to living as a girl. I want to say as a teenager. Uh, I don't remember. I do not remember the age exactly, but it was not. This was definitely prior to like being in the twenties. You know, this this kid was probably like, I don't know twelve when he started. I don't remember, uh, but before he'd even graduated high school, he'd already changed his mind. Uh, I'm not sure about that either. Uh, he might have been in college, I don't know, but he was very young. Just just judging by his appearance on on the uh, the thing, because uh, they really didn't go into details of like where where he was at, what school, if he would, if he was in high school or college. He didn't. I don't remember them talking about that. Uh, the part that I wanted to address from that detransition was his reason for wanting to detransition and he uh, I I suspected it from the time the, the show started uh, and I knew I already knew it was about detransitioning I'm watching this kid and I'm thinking I already know the reason why he's going to detransition and uh, and then he said it he said I just want to go back to being normal and I just, and I realized that I haven't really, I have not addressed that issue in any of my videos. I might have addressed it in some of my videos, but not as a subject of the video. And, uh, because when I saw that, that part in the, in the, in the documentary, in that video, I addressed that. And I, you know, I said, that's, that pretty much explains the detransition that, uh, it is the desire to be normal. <coughs> That imagine a young kid who is going to school a freak, you know, they're a total freak, uh, and they're the worst kind of freak because I shouldn't say the worst kind of freak, uh, because it does depend on how you were raised. I would say, I mean, for uh, like for my family, you might say I am the worst kind of freak, uh, because there is this. Like, my family would, I think they prefer the idea of me having autism to the idea of me being trans, uh, which was an idea that they kind of came on on their own, uh, apparently, uh, because of the difficulties that I was having as a child, kind of <coughs> socializing and that sort of thing. Uh, they thought, well, I, th I think he's autistic. And, uh... And then I came out as trans, and they're like, "What? Well, that's not that's that's not real. That's not real. Trans isn't even real, you know." <laughs> so, <laughs> they were happy to they were happy to to come to the conclusion that I had autism. But when it came to me being trans, it was like, "No, uh, no, I don't think that. I don't think that's even real." Um, uh, they didn't say that to me. Uh, but they did say that to me, just not in those words. Uh. And that's what that's what I'm talking about. Is this? It's there's this. It's like I'm I'm a freak to them, you know. It's like I'm some kind of like monster from outer space. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm imagining this kid who who detransitioned going through school and and just wanting to be normal. You know, just I just I just want a normal fucking life. I don't want to have to deal with being a freak every day of my goddamn life. And uh, so in that video, I I I mentioned that I talked about that, but I also mentioned how that goes in the opposite direction, where trans reject their own transness. So if you think of and I, I I described it in that video as basically that you have like three options, right? You can uh, deny that you're trans at all and live, you know, as your the the gender that's associated with your sex, right? So if you were born male and you think, well, I think I might be trans. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try dressing in women's clothing and that kind of thing. And you try that for a while, and you think, ah, no, no, I don't, I don't think I like this too much. I, I'm I'm gonna back to living as a man, uh, out of a desire to be normal, basically, not because you've actually 
search your soul and that kind of thing, but just because you're like, I just want to be fucking normal. <clears throat> so that's one. Uh, the other one is to just reject the idea that you're trans and what to transition and then just insist that you're a woman and just and be like, I'm not trans. I'm not trans. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm not trans, uh, which is something that I hear and see uh, one of when I hear people insisting that they are women or like uh, trying to fight about trans being seen as real women, I feel like that's largely what that is. It's like it's like an attempt to not be seen as a freak. And uh, I saw an actual trans woman once in a I was in a uh, a group and uh, she, she, in this she was she was insisting that she was a woman and that she was not trans. She's like, I'm not a trans woman. I'm just a woman. I'm not trans. And I'm thinking, it sounds to me like you are transphobic. It sounds to me like you are, you hate the notion of being a freak. <sighs> now, I don't mean to say that there is something inherently wrong with being trans. That, 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 because when people say freak, that implies like there's some kind of disorder uh, or something, some kind of like the elephant man type thing where you're just like fucked up, you know, that sort of thing. I'm not, I don't mean to say that. What I mean to say is by freak is that you're, you're not normal, right? You, and people have a problem with that too, because people associate being normal with being healthy, but normal and healthy are not the same thing. It's better to be a freak and be healthy than to be normal and be sick, Right. So, of course, that the, the third option is to just say, I accept myself as a freak. I, I'm okay with being a freak. I don't, I don't need to, to uh, deny that, that I am not normal. So, I did that on purpose. Oh. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm actually glad that I don't pass at the moment. That I'm actually glad that like when I go out in public, people see me as a man, like with breasts. I'm not going to say that I want them to see me that way forever. Uh, for me, it appears that even after I started thinking that I was trans, that I, that I still really had a hard time accepting it. Uh, I'm slowly coming to believe with a, a certain amount of certainty that I, that I am trans. But uh, accepting, for me, it's... Like, I, I, you might say that I accepted that I was trans kind of early on, but it was trans in the sense of not being a man, right? Or trans in the sense of being gender non-conforming. Uh, but not so much in the sense of, like, a woman's life is the life for me. <clears throat> that was the part where I still had difficulty. And so I... When I look at people who want to pass, what I what I feel like is this what it's an essentially a, a kind of fear based or just avoidant uh, avoidance based kind of desire, which means it's not really a desire. But uh, and I'm not going to say that I don't get it, uh, but a lot of times I think it is just more just not wanting to be a freak, not wanting to stand out, you know, as a kind of abnormal, I don't quite fit in uh, thing. It is basically that. It is basically the desire to fit in. <coughs> and I get that because I've wanted to fit in for my entire life. Uh, for my entire life, I wanted to be normal. You know, I, I, I wanted to be just just like everybody else, you know, uh, and I, I always felt like I just wasn't. Uh, and I didn't know what to do about it. It was not until I started doing this, and I mean like wearing wigs and makeup and, and girls' clothing. This is not a girl's shirt. This is actually a man's shirt. But uh, <clears throat> Which is to say that I got it in the men's section is what that means. Uh, 
if if a woman wore this, I don't. I, people would probably think that eh, that's just a. What is that? What is that? Um, it's just a tank top. I don't know. But uh, I actually felt less like a freak, if that makes sense, when I started doing this, I, uh, which is what, why what made me think that I'm trans, because I spent my entire life feeling like a freak, feeling like a weirdo, feeling like something was wrong with me. And uh, then I started doing this, and I started to feel like, I almost feel like I'm more normal than normal people now, like where I'm just like, uh, uh, it's like I was outside the box so long that uh, once I started to find myself, I, I didn't, I wasn't in these kind of, now I'm talking about normal in the sense of being healthy, which is not, I don't like to do that, but that's actually what I meant. Uh, it's It's almost like I have a more... Uh, how do I put this uh, without sounding narcissistic or totally arrogant? <laughs> but sometimes uh, I look at myself and I, if there's like an archetypal image of human being, like if God, when God uh, was thinking about human beings, God created this like prototype image, like this, the archetypal image. And, uh, and said, this is what humans are going to approximately be like. Uh I'm closer to that <laughs> than you are. No, I'm just joking. I don't know who you are. I'm not sure who's watching this, but I do I do feel sometimes like, like that. I feel like I have, like I said, by being outside that box for so long uh, and then this, discovering the inner girl so that I wasn't conditioned. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have these social pressures kind of pushing me in, in a certain direction. <clears throat> to being uh, a woman, right? That I was uh, I was kind of able to find woman the way that I wanted to see her, if that makes sense. And uh, so a lot of times that image, the image that I see kind of of myself, I kind of feel like is a little bit, maybe more natural is, is the way to put it. Not more normal, but more natural. Uh, I do, I do, I meet people now who are, are they cis? Are they trans? I don't know. They, they live as cis people. <clears throat> but I feel like I'm... I'm, I'm just, I just feel like I have a greater... Well, I don't know what to call it. I feel more natural than they are. They, they seem kind of unnatural to me and kind of... Uh, it's like they're stuck in that box. You know? That's kind of what that's kind of what is what I think of as being unnatural. Like if you put an animal in a cage, after a while, it's the animal starts to cease to be natural, and it starts to become unnatural. You might say like a lion will just start to kind of lay around all day. He's like, oh my god, oh, like that's just not natural, right? For the lion, which is another way of saying it's not normal for the lion. <laughs> so, like, I'm trying to be careful with my language. One of the reasons why I keep laughing is because I've only had an hour of sleep. And another reason is I'm partly happy. I'm partly happy. I'm not fully happy. I'm partly happy. Uh, where am I at? 19 minutes. I'm not going to make this one too long. Uh, I feel like I've said everything that I need to say. That I, or that I, that I wanted to say. Uh, I was in the middle of just talking about passing there. And uh, I did forget to say something. Is that uh, I had? That's what I was when I was saying that I had, I had trouble kind of accepting that the woman's life was the life for me. Uh, I'm still kind of. I feel like I have further to go with that, and I may get to the point where I say, "Ah, I identify as a woman, and I want a woman's life." And and if I get to that, I may say, "I want to pass," and it. Uh, I can see in that not just an avoidance sort of thing. If I were to desire to pass now, it would be an, an avoidance sort of thing. It would be a fear-based thing. It would be it would be just the I don't want to be seen as a freak. I don't want people seeing me as a man with breasts. I want them to see me as a woman. Uh, 
uh, but that right now it would be out of fear because I it it bothers me to go out in the public. It, like it, I don't say that it bothers me. It worries me. Like I'm afraid of I'm afraid of what people think. And when I say that I'm glad that I have to do that, it's because it, it I actually feel like I'm getting over that. I feel like the more that I do that, the more acclimated to that I get, the more I kind of build up a kind of resilience against that worry. And uh, I am um, uh, just less inclined to worry about what people think, which was something that I used to do constantly. Uh, I was in this constant need... I lived with this constant need for validation from other people. And so by, but by going out into public, basically being a freak in public, I feel like I am in some way getting over that need for validation from other people because I kind of feel like, uh, my chances of getting validation are very slim. <laughs> so, uh, so now I do things not just like going out in public with breasts, but like I went to Walmart last night and was just talking to myself out loud like the entire time. At, so, at one point I was singing out loud in the Walmart. And uh, it was kind of funny. At one point I was talking to myself out loud and then I passed by a guy on the aisle and he was talking to himself out loud. And I thought this is actually kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> he was looking at the, he was the older man looking at the, uh, the 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 cans of beans or something and he's just talking to he's just like wow i can't find the wife well and he was just you know nobody around him but me and i'm walking by like oh well i can't find the goddamn soup where is the goddamn soup you know <laughs> uh, it was fun it's fun uh it does that for me helps me get over my concern for what people think about me and so that's why I like now that I that I don't pass. And I would I, I think that if you're a, a trans who is afraid of being found out, uh, the best thing to do might just be practice being found out. Just you know, go out in the public as as a as a freak. You, know, you can be careful about it, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, so I may get to that point where I may, I may through, through slowly accepting myself, I may get to that point where I say, you know what, I, I actually do want to pass and it's not because I'm afraid, but just because I, I just want, I just want to be, you know, people to say she, when they see me without me having to tell them, you know, uh, or just to be treated like a girl and, and, uh, not, you know. Because apparently, I wouldn't say apparently, but uh, people treat you differently when they think that you're a woman versus if they think you're a man. They don't treat you the same way. And uh, so it may just be that. It may just be like, uh, you know what? I would kind of like for someone to, to like just look at me like I am actually a woman. That kind of thing. So, but uh, yeah, I'm not to that point yet. I'm not really, I'm not to that point. Uh, and I, I do want to stay away. If there is a part of me, I, I want to, throw, I did men, forget to mention this also. There is a part of me because I still feel like I don't entirely ex accept myself. Like if I woke up tomorrow morning and I look, I had a female's body. I had a, a vagina that was almost as, you know, like I was born with it. And I have uh, breasts that are actually breast breast not 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 halfway between ma uh man boobs and breast these are kind of halfway between because i do still have the, the a lot of this muscle here uh it, but if i had more of a just uh feminine physique i shouldn't say more of a feminine physique but an actual you might say a natural born feminine physique ah me I would probably freak out. I would probably, that would probably, uh, I'd probably go into shock. <clears throat> and I might feel like I can't go out in the public looking like this. Uh, part of that could just be because I don't necessarily identify, like I said, it's not that I don't necessarily accept that I'm a girl, but I don't, I don't entirely identify as a girl. 
yet, all right? Because uh, I'm not entirely sure that a girl is what I am, and uh, I, I, just for example, uh, there's the issue of the penis, right? Like how many girls have penises? How many girls would like to have a penis? You know, uh, that sort of thing. And there is a part of me, like there is a girl that I'm in love with who, when I think about what I want her to see when she looks at me, I want her to see like a, a really girly girl, like with a vagina. I want her to see someone who's a little bit tomboyish. Someone who looks like they might have a penis, that sort of thing. Uh... Does that make sense? Mm. Not, not necessarily with the muscles. I'm not, I'm not flexing. I'm actually stretching because I'm very, my neck is sore. Oh my God. Oh. All right. So I think I, now I've said everything that I wanted to say. I think, did I, did I explain that well? Did I explain that well? Uh, oh, I went over my 26 minutes. God damn it. I was hoping to just upload this straight to YouTube. Eh.